Welcome to Coffee with Hydrix. My name is Amin. And this is... My name is Jure. Uh, I'm from the Lisk Center Utrecht. And uh, we are also building our own blockchain applications with Moosty. Hmm, cool. And uh, can you uh, tell me something about the Lisk Center Utrecht? Uh, yes, it's... Um, actually, we are trying to build a community. Uh, we started it one year ago. It's a co-work space, physically a co-work space, uh, where we organize meetups with the community we are building. And uh, the community, uh, the only requirement is that you are working within the blockchain space or that you are interested in developing ideas for blockchain. Uh, so we try to get together a group of enthusiasts, experts around uh, this technology uh, to help further that innovation. Hmm. Amazing. Thanks. And how, how does, uh, uh, did it uh, go with the coronavirus? Because uh, if you're a community space, then it's uh, quite obvious you need to uh, connect with each other. And how did you... Uh... Yeah, it's, um, it's a good question. Because indeed we, we try to get people together. That's actually what we do. Uh, but we do it both physically and digitally. So we already have a, a digital community partly um, and uh, actually that moved more to the digital sphere because we uh, didn't want to get people physically together uh, with the virus and um, it, it may have been the start of a new phase of the center. Because before we were mostly organizing meetups and there was less focus on actually building. And now because we were uh, scattered uh, digitally, everybody was working from home, we thought, okay, how can we connect the community? Uh, let's start a project, just an open source project with the community and um, it could be anything actually. So okay. that's what we started. Yeah. Because uh, uh, we know each other from uh, Lisk Center UK, because Hydrix is situated there uh, as well. And uh, yeah, we were uh, quite uh, uh, precautious uh, for the last uh, three months and worked from home. And uh, now in this phase, we are starting to uh, go to LC again. What's your plan for the future in uh, with events? Do you want to organize events? and? Uh, you think about that? Yeah, um, we thought about it. I think it's still an open-ended question. Uh, we uh, we do not know what we will do in the future, mm -hmm. but of course we would like to organize events and we would still like to get people together. Yeah. Uh, but it is also funny that before it might have been, for some people it might have been more kind of an office space. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually what we try to, to do is to get people together for a specific, uh, for that, that human connection. Yeah. So it's not specifically that we try to rent out office space, but we try to get those people together f to talk to each other. Okay. So, so actually it might also be uh, become a little bit more that space that uh, it's not necessary to be there every day. So that's, that's a realization for ourselves, yeah. I think that it is about those moments that we can come together, but it doesn't have to be a moment uh, every day. The, I think the focus this year already, but also due to Corona, the focus has shifted from, um, from talking about it to actually building it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are currently more focused on building applications instead of uh, talking about what blockchain might change for the future. And are there uh, interesting projects going on in this uh, time that you uh, want to mention? Um, yes, so so actually I think there are a lot of interesting projects going on uh, in the Netherlands but also abroad and also within the Lisk Center community. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I know community members are working on uh, Hybrix is working on yeah. their platform. Um, Lisk is as a platform uh, really maturing right now. Ethereum is going to 2.0, and uh, like Swarm, Rinke, one of our mm -hmm. community members, is they are also going into a new phase. 
And, but if we, so th those are more the platforms. And if we look at uh, the applications like proof of concepts, we as the LISC Center uh, are more, um, yeah, as a Moosty team, we are also developing our own projects. And uh, then I really like the fact that we rebuilt Aragon yeah. with LISC in a couple of weeks. Yeah, actually a couple of weeks. It's not and finished Can you tell, uh, tell me uh, uh, something about uh, Aragon? Aragon is a platform for decentralized applications mm -hmm. uh, or organizations, I should say. So decentralized autonomous organizations and you can create your own organization, um, a system to start, uh, uh, to, you can onboard members in, within that organization and you can do voting. So, okay. so it's a decision mechanism platform. Hmm. And uh, foldings for which kind of uh, things? For everything or...? Yeah, in, in, actually it could be for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start it is uh, voting for the organization of your company, I guess. It's mostly uh, the basic backbone for an organization. So okay. instead of starting a physical company somewhere and having seven partners, mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you can say, okay, we just start this digital office and uh, we invite uh, seven partners and those partners have a sp specific amount of voting rights mm -hmm. um, and in the future you can add on new members uh, which have different rights or different uh, projects within our group it's so so it's actually starting to rebuild organizations from the bottom okay and uh, how uh, does it um, work when you have, uh, for example, seven uh, uh, partners. Uh, how do you start? Is it uh, can you? Uh, is it a closed environment or is it an environment where everyone can? Uh, is it open? So Aragon is built on Ethereum. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an open platform, and also Aragon is open. Yeah, I think so. Everybody can see the different organizations that are are built on the platform um, and you can i'm not sure how you can ex if, you, if you can access uh, the platform by yourself mm -hmm. uh, but someone i think someone has to invite you uh, and also with the, the system we are building it's kind of the same that uh, you can see every organization but uh, you have to be invited or voted in to be actually part of the organization. Okay, so it's a little bit like uh, a GitHub or something where you uh, have the organization but you can't uh, participate uh, except if you uh, are invited by one of the members. Or... Yes. Okay, that's, that's cool. And what's your goal with uh, building it on uh, Lisp? Um, so we have multiple goals. Um, for one of the things is that with the three of us, we are uh, into the LISC platform, so we understand the technology. So it's for, mm -hmm. for us, it's um, it's good to build it on LISC because we like to... Uh, actually, the reason we build it on LISC is that we are building building blocks. Okay. So if we build a proof of concept like this, yeah. um, we know that we can reuse the elements later on in new projects. Ah. So every project will become open source, mm -hmm. uh, but the, the modular uh, architecture makes it easier for us to uh, to reuse the elements later. And it's just fun. So we would like to build a lot of different experiments yeah. in order to let people experience what we can do with it yeah. and uh, together learn where it applies the best. And if you uh, can say something to the uh, uh, viewers, what? Uh, what would you uh, like to invite them for? Oh, good question. I, I think I, I think I would like to invite them to um, to give new ideas mm -hmm. uh, and um, to start collaborating um, with people you don't know, but only um, actually start collaborating internationally uh, online to build these kind of projects because I think. Uh, those collaborations are really essential in the future to if you have different minds different mindsets from different regions then you can build a really revolutionary system mm -hmm. while if you ask the same company that has been over there for for 10 years and they try to 
rebuild their company digitally. Yeah. But that's not not the revolution. The revolution is uh, it comes from a different perspective. And uh, where do you see yourself in uh, five years from now? I mean, in the uh, not in the <laughs> but in the blockchain scene. What's your uh, wish? Um, that's a, a hard question to answer. Yeah. I think it would be really cool to see um, that we have actually, um, together with with all the other people working on this domain, that we have laid a foundation for a new way of organizing stuff. Mm -hmm. So it means that the, the separate things we are all doing, that uh, they come together in real applications. So I would love to be part of uh, collaborative efforts of the future so that it's now we are working with three of us mostly and in those uh, combinations and project teams but I would love to see that in the future we are with much more working really working together um, and uh, see what happens and I think it would be awesome if we also um, actually are able to to fund ourselves, that everybody can fund this, him mm -hmm. or herself for working on these kind of projects. And then I mean that it's not necessary to have a, what we currently call a job with where you earn fine fiat money, yeah. but that you can really work on whatever you like to work on and that that's enough to uh, to pay your bills or actually to get other stuff from other people. That's, uh, cool. And uh, uh, I was wondering, you uh, uh, did a couple of uh, uh, proof of concepts, uh, uh, mainly on uh, uh, with the platform uh, Lisk. Uh, what are the things that uh, were easier to do, and what are the things that uh, were uh, more difficult uh, to achieve? The cool thing within this space is that everybody wants to learn. Yeah. So it's e it's quite easy to get people on board. Um, it's difficult to uh, uh, to keep them on board, so mm -hmm. that, that's a learning point. Be be specific in what you would like to achieve with a group of people, because uh, then you might have a small group, but mm -hmm. you have a group that is dedicated to yeah. to achieve what you want to achieve. Uh, but on the other hand, we are currently building a proof of concept with five people, of which two are new within the group and it, it works like a charm. We have a very good collaboration yeah. and uh, and that's that's really cool to see. Nobody gets a real payment or uh, it's open source software. We acquired a list builders grant with the group, but um, the funny thing is that, that we actually all have additional skill sets and we are helping each other and everybody likes what they learn. So uh, I think it's... Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's easier uh, than mm -hmm. I had thought up front, but it's definitely more fun than I had would okay. have imagined before. And were there things that you thought were quite easy and uh, on hindsight uh, were really difficult? I think, I don't know if it's applicable on one of these projects, but I think the most difficult thing is that um, to align what people want to, where people are going. Mm -hmm. I think it's for a lot of people it's difficult to to say uh, this is open source software. Uh, we build something that will be out there, and you are not the owner of it. <laughs> we are not the yeah. yeah we build it, but we are not also not mm -hmm. the owner of it. Somebody else can fork it and use it. Um, I personally um, uh, I, I understand why the patent system has been developed, but currently I think most of these ideas should be reusable by everybody. Yeah. So, um, but I think that's a, a new way of working, collaborating. Mm -hmm. So you have to trust each other without knowing if you can trust each other. And, yeah. And I think that's that's a difficult thing, and it's it keeps being a difficult thing because you. Uh, you do not really understand why uh, someone is doing what. 
So at one point, if you start to get to know each other, mm -hmm. then it becomes easier. But at first, you, you, you can develop private blockchains, you can develop uh, uh, micro innovation for a specific domain, but you can also try to revolutionize the whole financial industry. Yeah. So uh, both are good. Mm. But if you are in the same project team and you are trying to achieve different things, then it becomes difficult. Yeah. So I think that's that's a difficult thing to to understand how somebody sees the whole thing evolve, but nobody actually knows up front. So, yeah. that's so manage uh, expectations and. Uh, uh, have a clear goal for the whole uh, project uh, group. Is, uh... Yes, and that's still a difficult thing because I think a lot of you cannot foresee a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a lot of trust, and you should do it because it's fun. Yeah. Or you should not, but <laughs> <Yes>. you must. <laughs> you must build on risk. That's very important. No. Yeah. You, <laughs> Just kidding. No, indeed, it's. Um, I think what what you guys are doing with Hybrix, uh, connecting different worlds, and uh, what we also try to do with List and Utrecht is getting experts together. Uh, we don't know where the whole space will develop. Yes. So within a couple of years, uh, it doesn't matter which which platform is bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that we learned a lot of the different dynamics yeah and, that, and that's the whole thing it's not you're not building a software solution that you're selling it's mm -hmm. a total total different ecosystem what we are building and we actually do not know how it works ourselves already yeah so so actually uh, we know each other from this country you tracked yeah we um, we started it one and a half year ago and uh, quite quickly Hybrix joined in mm -hmm. uh, as a, a community member um, and how do you how do you see the development uh, of the ecosystem in the Netherlands or how do you see Hybrix fitting in in this sphere? Yeah, uh, uh, what I noticed uh, first of all uh, it was really nice to uh, uh, work with you uh, in uh, Lisk Center. Uh, that's an amazing time that we have, and uh, I really like it. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, projects, uh, blockchain projects, crypto projects, uh, a lot of uh, collaboration with each other, uh, and that's also the reason why Hybrix likes to uh, be there because we don't believe in one project, we believe in collaborating and uh, collaborating with each other and uh, uh, making bridges and not um, making own islands and uh, we see each other as a complementary uh, thing and not only a, uh, a win for myself so we like to uh, do the interoperability not only in uh, our uh, platform and uh, our token and wallet but we also like to uh, collaborate with other projects so uh, what we learned uh, is th that there are a lot of uh, uh, cool projects going on. We need to, to uh, focus on our uh, platform and uh, build uh, really nice uh, tools to help other people uh, building their uh, project and uh, uh, not only on one specific blockchain but on m multiple uh, chains. So that, that's what uh, I believe. So, cool. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, I, I see uh, the time is running on. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you for watching. We are really happy uh, that you saw the whole episode of uh, Coffee with Hybrix. Uh, we want to invite you for the next one, uh, next month, uh, in this channel. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Jelle, for Th being here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. <laughs>